What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper today bringing you a video and today we're going to be doing a video on how to put the RAM in the HP Pavilion or really a lot of laptops for this uh, for this instance. You could really uh, take this away from that. It's pretty simple and I'm going to show you guys how to do it and to show you guys towards the end of the video so stay tuned that it does actually work and it does take and it'll show up the RAM. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take out these screws and before we continue guys be sure to hit that like button subscribe. Really helps me out. Really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So first of all there's going to be four and I'll show you here real quick there's going to be four long screws here at the top there's going to be four of them you take those off and then there's going to be three at the bottom they're really really tiny as you can see you're going to want a screwdriver about like this maybe a little bit smaller so the next thing i also recommend you use is some type of prying tool i use a guitar pick kind of pull up on the edges here and a flat a good co uh, covered surface that you're not hurting the pc and everything like that so let's take this off you're going to take it off then and you're then going to see everything here and you're going to see right here the stick of ram now you're going to notice there's going to be a black little piece of tape right here just to cover the spot in case of uh you know damage dust or anything like that that's what that's there for and i do recommend getting a can of air you can while you're doing that and you can kind of spray out your fans and everything like that so to go ahead i'll go ahead and zoom in here for you guys you're going to want to make sure that this little part right here very important this little part right here lines up with this little black spot right here and you're going to easily just slide it in and it should go in pretty easily you're just going to slide it in here kind of unzoom it here for you guys to see alrighty then so you may have to actually use a screwdriver or something like I just did to kind of get it to pop down in there um, it's not gonna just kind of sit in there but um, just kind of push it down and make sure these two sides it's really important to make sure these two have in fact clipped on there doesn't have to be perfect perfect just make sure it clips on there for the most part you should hear a click when you push down on it and when that happens it should be good to go and we're going ahead and go ahead and flip on it on its side we're not going to put the screws back in just yet so we're going ahead and pop this back on and show you that it does in fact work and i will be switching over to a recording on the pc itself to show you guys that it did in fact take the ram and you should will have 16 gigabytes of ram now so stay tuned for the video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video and in this segment guys in this video i just wanted to show you that the ram did in fact take and it tells you how much RAM that we do have. So right now, as assist uh, on your memory, you're going to push Control Alt Delete, and that's going to pull up your Task Manager. You're going to go to RAM or Memory, which is your RAM. And as you can see, we have 16 gigs now, opposed to the eight we used to have. So now we do have 16 gigabytes of RAM. That is how you install the uh, eight gigabytes of RAM on the PC. Link down in the description below if you want that RAM. It's only about thirty dollars, and it is really good and does cause your PC to have uh, better multitasking skills and everything else and does run overall better as a system so guys hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video